Nissan Rogue and Nissan Titan share identical navigation. Fascia of the navigation may appear different, but electronics is 100% identical. This interface has both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in one. For this demo, we just shown Apple CarPlay. However, Android can be used for Android Auto. Now, CarPlay. We got the CarPlay buttons here. So this is Siri. Up, down, left, right, enter, back. And then to get out. So get out of the CarPlay, get back into the CarPlay, basically. Get out, get back. Get out, get back in. So this is the factory screen, and this is the CarPlay screen. Nissan Rogue demo presented on Nissan Titan. All products are 100% made in the USA and are 100% automotive grade, designed to last for 10 or more years. Hello everyone. In this video, we're gonna show you installation for a Nissan radio that's found in many Nissan cars. This particular car is Nissan Titan 2017. We're going to show you installation of a couple of products. We're gonna show you installation of Apple CarPlay and we're going to show you installation of wireless mirroring. They're both installed identical. You will receive a plug and play harness. This is the harness. You're gonna receive it all plugs in in the back of the radio. It's all plug and play. You got audio RCAs. So you, you can be an auxiliary and this just plugs in into the main harness. Main harness has side camera inputs so you can install left, right, rear car already has and front camera. You got the audio outputs from mirroring or from CarPlay. You got the plug and play ends and then you got these three wires. This wire that we have already stripped for you will connect to the main plug and play harness. So basically the way it's installed is you take these harnesses, right, and you put them together. Plug it in. Plug it in. Connect the audio RCAs. So you got the audio RCAs right here. You're gonna connect them together. All right. This end is going to plug in either into CarPlay or mirroring and this is going to connect back to the radio. And then you're going to connect the red wires together and you're going to tape them up. So after you connect them together, you're going to just simply tape them up. And this is your entire installation. CarPlay will have a remote eye microphone and the steering will mount a remote control. This is our own design. It doesn't move anywhere. And the way it's designed in the back, if you see, it's made to push against the steering wheel. So when it pushes against the steering wheel, it's not gonna move when you press the buttons. On the control, you have Siri button, up, down, left, right, enter, back, in motion, if you wanna use factory navigation motion. The same remote, is used to activate front, left, right, rear camera. This remote comes included with CarPlay. Each one is identical for both units. So whether you're installing CarPlay or mirroring, same plug, same installation. And the entire process takes about, you know, 30 minutes. Because it's all plug and play, you don't have to splice any wires. This is T-Harness that goes in the back of the radio. They connect it together and then this goes into one of the interfaces and there are plenty of space in the back of the radio to install everything. We're going to show you how to remove the radio in this car and the removal is very simple. We made it as simple as possible so you basically remove these two panels you got two panels you remove them you got two screws here you got two screws holding this panel you remove this panel towards you so you can remove this panel and then you find two more screws and the radio comes out. So let's show you how it's done. Start with this panel. 
pop it open. On the other side, same thing, pop it open. They might look a little bit too hard to remove, but they will come out. There are latches you're gonna remove to open them. Once you have the panels open, there are two screws on top. There's one screw right here, and there's one screw on the other side. Remove the two screws. We have previously removed them to speed up the video, but just number two Phillips and they come off. Next, we need to remove this. There are two screws on each side. You got one screw right here. We already removed it and one screw on the other end. Once you remove it, this panel right here, separate it. Doesn't come out, try it from the side. A little bit tough to come out of this panel so you can just use your fingers maybe on the side open it and just separate it okay once you separate the panel this panel just comes out there's nothing holding it in place all right just like I'm showing you It's a little bit tricky, but this is the faster way instead of the taking the whole car apart. All right, carefully hold this panel to the side. Okay, and then remove the connectors from the back. So this way, you don't see the radio comes out again. See these panels, they don't have to be removed to remove the radio, right? Pull the radio out and unplug all the connectors. We're ready to unplug them. The connectors that you're gonna need are these two. These are two connectors you're gonna use. So if you take our plug and play T harness and you plug it in, this is the connectors. One on the bottom, one on top. And then the factory connectors, factory plugs go in here. So we're going to plug in the factory plugs and after that, we're gonna proceed to testing. When you're reinstalling the radio, make sure to check that all plugs are replugged so you don't have to take the car apart. While you do the testing, don't put the car together. You can test it without putting the whole car together. So we're gonna replug the connectors and we're gonna proceed. Okay. Do not forget to program the interface. All interfaces are stripped blank as they need to be configured by the installer or end user. Programming process will take less than one minute and can be performed using Windows or Mac computer. Apple CarPlay update. The update process takes approximately two minutes. This is the software already open on the screen. Software is available for Windows and Mac based computers. Step one, download the updater. It takes approximately 30 seconds. Step two, open it. it. Takes one second. Step three, get a cable. USB to micro USB. USB end, you're gonna connect it to the computer. Micro USB end, you're going to connect into the interface. Then install appropriate software. So just for the test purposes, we're going to install Jeep Wrangler and hit install. And the installation starts and the entire process is probably going to take right about 30 seconds. And then after it's installed, you basically do install it in the car and don't forget to set your dip switches in the video it's going to tell you whether they go, go up or down and the configuration entire configuration on Windows or Mac computer will take you no longer than two minutes that's everything that's downloading the software and installing so installing the software and then the last step is configuring which is self-explanatory it's everything is in plain English right with don't make it complicated there's no learning curve to this as you can see I hit search I hit install it's only one button so there is no learning curve to use this it's basically all automated it sits as 99% right now that's gonna go away and it's gonna say see device completed click close and then the camera settings you can update. Again, this is all here in plain English. On our left hand side, 
you adjust cameras that you want to install if you're installing any. On the right hand side, you choose cameras that car is equipped with, and then how do you want it to operate? Again, it's all in plain English. So if you're installing side cameras, there are three ways to operate them. Manual, manual with a speed check, manual without speed check. Everything is in plain English. Again, no learning curve. The whole update takes approximately one minute. You just have to tell the interface if you're gonna install any aftermarket camera and you gotta tell the interface if you have any of the factory cameras. You are completing your update and it took us about two minutes and 30 seconds for the entire process. Take it to the car and continue with the installation. This is Apple CarPlay. You got the CarPlay experience and we're gonna show you how it's done. With CarPlay, you get this nice remote. It's mounted to the steering wheel and it's not moving because the way it's designed is to push against the steering wheel. So when you push any of the buttons and I'm pushing it hard, it's not going to go anywhere. It mounts right on the steering wheel with a strap. And it Monster is a 2003 looks pretty much like original. And directed by Patty Jenkins. Shall I continue? No. See, this was Siri when I pressed it. So it looks like factory, and we designed it, it fits any car. It has the Siri button, up, down, left, right, and we're gonna show you how it works. But this is what it looks like on the steering wheel. Let's so zoom in. It's very small, and it fits into this opening. And it fits all the steering wheels. And it's designed to be perfect. Actually, customers that have CarPlay from factory on some cars buy our CarPlay products just to have this remote. Now, CarPlay. We got the CarPlay buttons here. So this is Siri. Up, down, left, right, enter, back. And then to get out. So get out of the CarPlay, get back into the CarPlay basically. Get out, get back. Get out, get back in. So this is the factory screen and this is the CarPlay screen. In factory screen, this button to operate cameras so looks a rear camera, rear camera off. But when you're going to be in CarPlay mode, it will only do CarPlay, no more cameras. This is smart remote, it's not available from anybody else. This is what it's called to be made in USA, automotive grade. This is the CarPlay, same way it's operated in a lot of European non-touch vehicles, Mercedes, BMW, and so on. They would have the same guide, blue one, and you see as I'm moving it, different options highlight. Now, Siri. Hi, Siri. Hi there. How are you? Siri, how are you? I feel good. So basically, you can do anything you want. I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> Press back on the remote and it goes back. Over here on the left hand side, you got three most recently used apps. You see the highlighted square. So if you go, you got calls, maps, and radio. So you can go into maps. Maps open up, and then you control the whole map experience. Everything move do whatever you want destination previous destination new destination either by voice or by entering on the keyboard you can do where would you like to go or you can choose keyboard on the steering wheel it's very easy to use when you're in the keyboard mode so basically if you're in the keyboard mode it's very easy to use back 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 the apps you can have are whatever app allowed I, this is I download just a bunch of test apps here so for you to see tune on radio local radio and this is not mirroring this is carplay because we got full control and on your phone 
Well, let me show you. See what you got? If I get out of here and I press home on the phone, see it goes home on the CarPlay because that's how CarPlay works. If I was to open up the TuneIn Radio or Shopify or any other app, so let's say I go into I go into TuneIn Radio, TuneIn Radio opens up. If I press home, it closed. But that's how CarPlay works. It doesn't matter what car it is, CarPlay lives only inside the phone. CarPlay does not exist outside of your phone. Keep that in mind. And so we're going to go into TuneIn Radio. We're going to go into podcasts. So let's go into music. Let's go into um, music. And then inside we're going to go to today's hits. Play. Since we're in auxiliary mode already, it's going to go ahead and play. A little slow Wi-Fi, so let it load. Play, pause, play, back, change. Play, pause, play. and CarPlay experience. As you know, most Denisons don't have CarPlay and this is how you can get it in all Denisons and CarPlay in any car. But CarPlay lives inside your phone. So, 10 years down the line, CarPlay will work because we create a controller for CarPlay. CarPlay is updated only inside your phone. All new features, all new apps, they come out in your phone. You don't install anything but a piece of hardware that we provide you with. Everything else will happen in your phone. So it will always work. You don't have to worry about updates. And the reason it was designed this way is because if you buy a car today, right? You buy a brand new car with CarPlay. It's designed for you that you never have to go back to the dealership to do any updates. You bought the car, you have the CarPlay. So unless Apple goes crazy and just decides to change everything around, your CarPlay is guaranteed to work for the next 20 years. Cars are going to change but CarPlay protocol is going to stay the same because people keep their cars 10, 15, 20 years and it has to work and hopefully even if Apple changes the connector they will still have the connectivity and there will always be wire even though everything goes wireless charging and wireless everything they will still need a wire to load the software in case it breaks so the wire will always be there today and in 20 years and today there is no car wireless connectivity everything is wired um, there's only a couple aftermarket radios with wireless, but everything else is wired and connected to the car. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, send it to us. But this is the CarPlay experience. This is how to get CarPlay. And this remote again operates the CarPlay the way it's supposed to operate because there are only two modes to operate CarPlay. Either controller or touchscreen. We choose the controller because it's it's not going to require it to go inside the radio and do some kind of hack job. It's plug and play. Use the controller. You do have the message on this particular car. On most of the cars, there will be no messages, but on this particular car, you will have a message. Um, enjoy it and ask us anything. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please click the round logo to subscribe and the round logo on the left. If you want to watch another video, please click the video link on the right. If you enjoyed this, leave a like and leave a comment. Thank you.